Hello, my name is David Smith. I'm taking this course in the northwestern part of New Jersey, Appalachian foothills, and I like bluegrass music and folk music of all kinds. So I'm going to be uh, showing how to record a, uh, an acoustic instrument, uh, a resonator banjo, using a very simple uh, setup. Uh, let me just uh, show it to you. Here's the banjo. We'll get to it in a minute. Over here is the um, is all the equipment on a rather messy desk. Okay, there's a condenser microphone, XLR cable female end goes into the microphone, and around here to the front of the interface. There are two interfaces here, and the one that I'm using is the one on the bottom. It's a Scarlett Two I Four. It's new. The other one uh, came with the uh, GarageBand Mac Mini package. I'm not using it for anything except to show that um, input and output for these interfaces is is USB. Is USB. Okay. The uh, Scarlett has the XLR instrument and mic cable on the front. Here's the gain. Here's a toggle switch that that um, you uh, toggle between instrument and microphone. We're using microphone. I'm going to turn on phantom power because it is a condenser microphone. And uh, the system comes to life. And uh, the USB goes out the back to the Mac Mini over here. The Mac Mini has a variety of DAWs on it. I have a GarageBand window open. Uh, and I'll record a track in GarageBand. Um, what else did I want to say about the um, the interface, it has a, uh, on the front it has, a, I've got a one eighth stereo cable into a, uh, into a one quarter adapter. Uh, at the moment I'm running that into these little speakers that are here. You don't need monitoring when you're doing an acoustic instrument. Um, I could probably uh, use these uh, uh, into a um, microphone, uh, sorry, a, um, a set of headphones and give myself a click track to stay in time, but you're gonna see from my uh, banjo playing that I'm, uh, I'm a rank beginner on the banjo and keeping time is not really an important issue for me at this stage of my great banjo career. Here's a schematic that I drew. It's similar to Loudon's, not as good. My banjo is here. The resonator uh, is on the back of the pot. The pot is a drum head. Uh, it's a very resonant instrument, natural amplification, you could say. Uh, I, get as, I want to get as close to the condenser microphone as I can. Microphone, female end of the cable, male end to the, to the interface. I'm going to put it in the left hand side. Turn on the gain, put the toggle over to microphone. Um, through the, at the back of the interface is the USB cable that goes to my Mac Mini running GarageBand. So uh, let's record a track. I haven't touched this all day. Okay, uh, finger picking in the bluegrass style. Use finger picks, two metal ones on the index in the middle plastic one on the on the side. Let me actually let me attempt a song. I'm gonna murder Jesse James all over again. Told you. Let's just do some rolls instead. of uh, a song that was popular last year, um, Wagon Wheel. Let's try a little Wagon Wheel Rolls.
looks horrible, but it gives you the idea of how to record a track. Uh, it's very simple, just an acoustic instrument, microphone to the interface, interface to the computer. Um, there's no instrument cables to run uh, in this case. Uh, you don't need amplification, the banjo does it for you. And uh, as far as this recording is concerned, you know, I hope I demonstrated knowledge of the, of the cables and the equipment and uh, the connections uh, that you make when you're trying to record an acoustic instrument. I'm new to playing music, I'm new to recording, and I've already run more than five minutes, so I don't want to presume too much on your time. I think this went okay, uh, but, you know, obviously not, you know, not awesome, but, you know, next time it'll be better, and I look forward to seeing yours too. Thanks very much. Bye-bye.